All right, I did not take a short break. I simply cut off the video. So now we are gonna go back and think about it again. So we have established that we cannot put a guy here to block that. We need this to block it and we need it to block the light. Or we block the light temporarily so we can drop one person up here. Ignoring the light. Kind of like this. But in that case we need to figure out, figure out a way to put a guy here. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe, wait, maybe I need to do that. And then from here, so what's the point of this guy? Nothing. Man, fine. Okay, drop a guy there. Hey, it worked through the blue light. Let's do this. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually. Oh, he walks slowly. He, oh, okay, I did not know that you actually walk slower. Hmm. Wait. So I could not ignore it there. could do this do that and this I have one more guy and I cannot really let go right now the bread is blocking it, so I could... I, I don't think so, because... Even if I do this and reach that point, I think I'm still gonna be very close to that. Wait. Can I do that? Like that. Oh man! Okay, go back. Can I eat you? Okay. We are recording, yes. Okay, again. We drop one guy here and one guy there. Maybe I need to do this like that wait okay maybe 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 I know how to do it maybe like that wait I think it is like that but I kind of did it a bit early I simply need to put a guy up there I think this is how it goes I think we block this we put a guy up here and then everything else we do should be to follow it up should be like that so basically i need to reach this end point and then not move from this position whatsoever i just need to do this and that and then i teleport to this guy there you go okay trigon orb acquired check whatever okay this makes much more sense now okay okay 
So we have the gate to the left. How long has it been? Okay, sure. Another one. Another one. Another one from is up there. Another one is up here. So I cannot teleport to the right. I can create. Um, would those actually delete people? No, that's just light. So what's with this now? Do I need to block it? Perhaps I need to do that. And then we do this. Wait, this guy is gonna move much slower. Maybe I need to do. Oh, there's. Why then? I can see that the game is gonna be really, really difficult very soon. So I think this could actually work like that. And then do this. Wait, I, oh, I forgot to teleport. Damn! Die! Okay, we do this. Okay, and then we create a copy and we drop it here. We create another copy and we drop it here. Oh, I forgot to teleport! Okay, we create a copy, teleport, we create a copy, we teleport. Sure, sure. Can you hold it? Grab it! Okay. Good, we do this. We teleport. Then we do this. Before we teleport, we go there. My mind is not really that good. It's not a good mind. I have no idea what was happening during the manufacturing process, but it's not really in its prime condition. Okay, we do this, we drop. And then we drop a guy here and we teleport. Stop being an idiot. Then we get, drop a guy here and we teleport. Again, we teleport. Right click, left click. Right click, left click. And then we right click, left click. Good. Okay. Okay. Tin, tin, tin. Fine. Now we go up here. Okay, press E to interact with memory terminal. Log 11, swapper research interests. Discovering what the swapper did was easy. Or new reason, who created the swapper though? I thought they actually simply took the alien tech, tech, not the alien tech, the alien, whatever was there, like materials, minerals, and so on. And then they created something unique using that. But they actually found the gun. I thought the, the rocks they didn't have physical form maybe someone actually transformed his mind into the rock using this i don't know discovering what the swapper did was easy our new research priority is to work it out how i believe that it's synthesis it synthesizes some part of the watchers telepathic communication somehow it is somehow it's able to relocate raw consciousness while leaving the physical body intact. I mean, they say like they actually know what consciousness is. 
what is a consciousness? Is there a pro consciousness and something else that is not pro consciousness? To understand the device and perhaps consciousness itself, we must understand the watchers. Okay. Good. So we have a gate up there where it blocks everything. We have one right here. Why then? To create a guy and teleport to him? Yes. And then that will block me from teleporting, from creating, but not teleporting. So if I click E here, that guy doesn't really function, which is strange. So why then do I need to, why, why is there like a button to change it? Why do I need that? Sometimes when I get into puzzles like this, I feel like I wish this button did not exist or didn't really do anything. So. I can't create or teleport. No, actually I can create back there, but I cannot teleport because of that. So how do you disable that? I suppose you don't really disable it. Do you? Perhaps I simply need to go all the way back here. Create one guy here and teleport to him. Yeah, that was simple. I thought it was going to be much harder than that. So we got ourselves some more tr Trigon Orbs. So we've done all of this. I don't see anything else on the map that I missed. I simply need to go there. I thought the spaceship is much smaller, but I mean, look at this. Look at this entire area. This is like perhaps the same size as what we've been through. Could, ev could be even more and we've seen a portion where we were outside the spaceship right, right here so we could actually have something else outside and we could actually teleport to the actual spaceship the inter whatever spaceship that we were on before this is just a station that not a spaceship per se as far as i don't remember yeah so yeah okay Don't do it. Let's proceed into the next room like that. And do this. Let's go right there. This should be interesting. Mind Science Laboratories. Again, I wish they actually, I wished actually that they kind of explored the metaphysics and the Xeno tech. The Xeno tech a bit more. Like, I feel like there's missed opportunities over there, you know? But they simply put a puzzle over there that. Uh, I, I can say that there are some small stuff that are not really the best. Mine sign is Okay, alright. Which game actually had this before? Ibn Ob or something? Perhaps? Maybe Limbo. A watcher cannot be ended. A watcher always is there. Oh, okay. A watcher cannot be ended. A watcher always is. There is only disconnection from the chain. So you can't really kill the bro the consciousness. You can simply transform it from one form into another. Okay, kind of like energy. Can I just walk and see stuff? Okay. So 
So I assume that's the rock and they were connecting stuff to it to study it because that's why it's called the Mind Science Laboratory. What is destruction? Is it like being changed? Okay, that's kind of like uh, if you have energy that had self-consciousness. You would ask yourself a bunch of stuff that do not make sense to anyone else. Oh! Okay, alright. So that thing over here, if you touch it, it reverses the direction. Okay, this is going to be kind of mind-twisting, right? Like, we're going to have places where we need to transfer. here. Good. This is the first watcher we ever discovered, the head. It sorts, filters, and distributes the thoughts of every watcher in broadcast range. It also kills the crew. They're like every other living being in that respect. You corner them, and the defense mechanisms kick in. Very effective. Something in the air. We probably have a few hours to live. Unfortunately, these things are practically indestructible. There's no time to jettison them all and nowhere to run. You're going to have to engage it with a swapper device and take control. Once the Watcher Mind is in your body, it'll be harmless. Once you're in there, just try to keep it together until I can come and pull you out. I wish you luck, but honestly, it should be straightforward enough. Are you kidding me? If it was straightforward, then why? What, wait, what? 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 Oh, okay. Get so away that's... from that thing. That isn't going to work. There's only one way to do this, and it's mine. Huh? Okay, first of all, we have two options. The first one is that she was the real one when she started and she was opening the gate for me. And she was actually giving me some good advice. Or she was the second one that actually kind of took back control and uh, ran away to do things her own way. And she was telling me that this is not gonna work. Whichever way actually it is, and if she says that it's it's straightforward and simple and so on, so why didn't you do it before? Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Why is the... Why is the watcher humanoid head, you know? Why is the humanoid head? That's questionable as well right like um, hmm. now come on continue okay ethics of brain science dr. Calmer the brain specimens are donated by terminal patients and kept alive in a nutrient-rich gel. Nutrient, nutrient gel, rich gel. We offer them life. They allow us to learn from them. Dr. Dennett. Dr. Chandler is quite aware of the existing ban on testing the swapper device between crew members and is seeking circum to circumvent it by testing on people who cannot complain. The doctor is practicing cons consensual slavery. I mean, you can call it consensual slavery, but at the same time, it's kind of like what you do at work. Is it slavery that you actually tell them what to do during the entire day, even if you, though you don't have work and uh, like the company doesn't really have work? for you they still control what you do you cannot hold the phone you cannot do this you cannot do that and they they have you the entire time you are basically stuck at work you can't really do anything that's you're giving them your time your complete time and at the end you simply go back home is does really going back home kind of remove this slavery is it like the um, 
is that the factor that changes slavery into not being slavery is it the money like if i give you food and games and whatever you want i just buy it for you instead of you buying it is that slavery is it the option that you can simply leave is that slavery because that's where the uh, consensual comes in how is it consensual slavery slavery should be uh, forced slavery like uh, I know slavery is a very difficult subject to talk about anyway so Dr. Cham Chalmers Calmers whatever I'm practicing the prolonging of of life for a good cause you'd make the same choice in their situation yeah as well as like uh, okay it's uh, you can do uh, like right now we don't know we cannot really do brain transplant transplants but we can do let's say heart or liver or kidney or so on so we it's fine if we actually give the kidney nutrition and nutrients and make it live longer in a different body that's fine but you cannot really make the brain live longer by giving it nutrients yeah, i can donate my body to science but what if we can actually turn on the brain Is that still, is that slavery or what if I actually agree like yeah okay sure yeah like keep my brain alive in my opinion uh, there could be a way to actually get, make it work again and get back to life so it could be possible it could be entirely possible and I can wait for a long period of time until you actually achieve that is that consensual slavery I don't know Dr. Dennett you don't know enough about the device to make any such claim. None of your theories count for the empirical evidence. Some of them break. Some of them break the law of conservation of energy. You don't know enough about the device to make any such claims. None of your theories account for the empirical evidence. Some of them break the law of conserv conservation of energy. Yeah, okay, well, I mean... This is different, I don't know, like, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't really fully understand what he's saying here, because, uh, yeah, you don't know enough about the uh, device, that doesn't really mean that you don't really test it, I, you, why would you test it if you know everything about it? Of course, you're gonna not know right, really enough, that's first. Secondly, none of your theories account to the empirical evidence, what empirical evidence? Are you saying that some of them break the law of conservation of energy? Is this the empirical evidence? First of all, you don't know that. Maybe it's simply forming things in a different way, like actual energy around the, around you, and it's actually simply taking it and putting it in a human form. Who knows? Like you don't really know the device and how it works. So it, that's first. Secondly, nothing breaks the law of conservation of energy. So, Doctor Commerce, yet with. Uh, Yet with no amount of physical exploration, explanation, can you communicate to me what is uh, what it is like to see red, to feel pain, to be afraid of death? Why, if all we are is not some vaults, we may as well consider the computer alive. Your account is missing the magic, and when the cards are down, mine is simply easier to believe. No, that's a completely different story over there. Like, uh, let's say, for example, of course, we don't know why we feel, why we see red, why we feel pain, um, or not. Not that why we know why we know how it functions, and we know the reason why we have pain is to preserve us from something else but why we don't we feel something different and why is it there why is anything there why is that rock there you know that's a different story but to be afraid of death is again something difficult to explain it's kind of related to the consciousness and to well-being so let's say for example uh, you why would you be alive why would you choose anything in the world some people say for example uh, okay the purpose of life is to um, serve a certain God okay uh, why because he told us to why because he wants us to why 
but we don't know why because we don't know what a god is if there is a god but if we go back to the um, physical form if we say that everything around us is physical there's no metaphysics then why do we feel pain why do we live why do we survive are we simply not some bolts yes we could actually be not some bolts that function in a certain way but doesn't mean that we can simply stick to that let's say for example oxygen and hydrogen they are simply nuts and bolts and if you put them together they kind of change form into into water they change completely from one form to another they get properties that are not really there in their own original form so if we put matter in a certain way it could actually develop something outside of its properties like consciousness so claiming that is mag that there is magic or you know whatever you want to call it soul or something is not really excusable it's understandable but it's not really excusable you don't really have any information about what a soul is and uh, you don't really know that it actually exists you can't prove it you can't do anything about it you simply can't say that there is something i don't understand and that's kind of um, a claim by uh, ignorance um, i don't really know the, the word in english but it's kind of like uh, you're claiming you're claiming something out of out of ignorance you don't know how it works which means that it works this way no that's not how it works uh, yeah, simply easier to believe. Easier is not always better. Most of the time, easier is not better. And it's not even accurate. Anyway, so we were right here. Let's continue and listen to this guy. Are we safe? What is safe anyway? Are we safe? Has the other mind changed again? What other mind? Is it us? Are we the other mind? What, what happened? My phone? What did I do? Extrapolating from your behavior thus far, I can only conclude that you're hopelessly deranged. Very well. Head towards control. I'll see if I can't come up with some common ground. What? Why am I deranged? I mean, I am deranged, but why am I deranged? Are we going home? I don't know. She said go to the control room. What if I don't want to? Wait, that's where the control room? I thought I'm going back to where I was. I want to. I had hope to reason with you, but trusting others to see sense is how we ended up like this. No, I won't ask you to examine the evidence and pick a side, only that you act in your own self-interest. I am going to land this station on the planet below. Unless you detach the solar panels first, Theseus will be destroyed. Is she on the spaceship? Or am I on the sea? Where? What? She's gonna land the spaceship. And did I do something wrong? Like, what, where was I? Was I here, perhaps? No, I wasn't there. Oh, that's the beginning. Oh, that's. Oh, that took me there. How did that work? Wasn't I there? I was here, right? Yeah, I was here. And I. Oh, okay. So simply, there's nothing there. I was actually meant to go down here. Okay, alright. I wanted to actually explore the area, perhaps there was a rock or something I can talk to, but I mean I assume they would actually have a marker on them. Anyway, so I think this is a good place to stop. I think the game is getting weird. No, it doesn't. Not at all. So I think it's, it's getting to the point where it's um, it's getting more difficult, game in gameplay wise. And philosophically, it's getting to a point where it's interesting to me. I think... I'm not gonna say what I think yet. Okay, uh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Alright guys, so I hope that you're enjoying it as well. And uh, if you have any comments about the subject, please write it down on, in the comment section. I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to know where I am wrong and why I'm wrong so I can change it. I don't like being wrong. So yeah. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.